What's up guys, Dr. Brittany here, and today I want to take you through a couple of easy moves that you can do to help counteract that forward flex posture. So a lot of times when we're sitting at the desk, you'll notice that your shoulders are starting to round forward, maybe even your head is coming forward. Um, you're starting to feel tight in the muscles around your neck, maybe in the front of your chest. So all of these moves you can just implement into your daily routine. I would recommend trying to do these every two to three hours of sitting, again, just to break up that monotony of sitting at your desk for hours on end. Even if you have the best posture, you still wanna implement movement into your daily routine. Sitting upright with beautiful back shoulders, straight back, head on top of the shoulders, doesn't matter if you're not adding movement into your routine. So the first move is gonna be thoracic extension, and that thoracic spine is just the mid portion of your back, so from about bottom of the rib cage to top of the shoulders. And what I want you to think about when you're going through this movement is pretending like you wanna take your collarbones and your chest and lead up towards the ceiling. Okay, so I'm not using the back of my chair, but you can if you want to, or you can even put a foam roller behind you. You can either have your hands behind your head like this or across your chest. And then every time you come up towards the ceiling, you're gonna come chest up first and then come back down. If you notice that you're getting a lot of mobility, you're either compensating from your low back and you're arching through the back or you're looking up with your neck. Either way, not exactly what we're looking for. So from the side, you can kind of see that there's not a lot of movement. I'm going from that rounded position and then lifting up through my chest. So I'm almost just coming into more of a straight up position than anything else, okay? The other thing you wanna look at that was the extension is adding some rotation. So to get that rotation, you're gonna take your hand, put it on the inside of your thigh, and then you're gonna turn your body away. You can use that hand on the inside of your thigh to push and give you a little bit more rotation. And then same thing when you go to the other side. Hand is on the inside of that knee, and I'm pushing away to get that rotation away from the hand. Just move into that easy movement. So don't force anything that feels stuck. Just kind of see where your body is when you start move into it and see if you can gain some more, more mobility as you continue to do it. So this next one here, you can do it on any kind of doorway. I'm just gonna use this because I have it and it's close, but if you do it in a doorway, you can do both arms at the same time. You wanna try and get your arm up into that 90-90 position, so almost like a field goal post, and then you're gonna let your body fall forward until you feel a stretch through the front of that shoulder. If you're doing it with both arms, same thing. Your arms are gonna stay back. Your body's gonna fall forward through that doorway. Hold it about 30 seconds and then come out of it. If that's too painful or it doesn't feel good, you don't feel like you're getting the right stretch in, you can try with the arm down lower and do the same thing, letting your body come forward or adding a little bit of rotation and just trying those different options out. See which one works best for you and see which one gives you the best stretch in the front of those shoulders. If you struggle with forward head posture, one of the things you can do is a chin tuck. So you'll go from that forward head kind of thing that we don't wanna see, and then think about bringing the chin back over the shoulders, almost like you're lining your ear canals up in line with your shoulders. So from the side, you can kind of see a little bit better. But notice that I'm not just doing a chin tuck and looking down. I'm pulling my head back over my shoulders, almost like it's sliding on a sliding board. So hopefully you're able to implement some of those into your daily routine. Again, just trying to take breaks and doing maybe not all four of them, but maybe just one of them every hour or so and breaking up the monotony of sitting down all day. Uh, if there's anything that you want to see or something that we didn't cover, feel free to comment below and we'll try to get on it. Bye.